Hi, my name is Rishi and we're going to talk about 802D Siemens control and in this video we're going to know how to set tool offset. When we turn on the control the screen is going to look something like this. In order to set the tool offset we have to go into the offset parameter operating area which is a top right key in this operating area keys. If I hit the key the screen will look like this. So there is a soft key called tool list if I go there if I hit here yeah it, it takes me to the database of all the tools a milling tool, drilling tool etc. If you don't want to use the existing tools you have to make a new tool and that soft key is right here if I hit a new tool soft key it takes me to the it gives me another option drilling or milling if I select milling tool it asks me what kind of milling tool is it? Is it a a uh, face mill tool, is it conical ball or at, uh, is it end mill so accordingly I select uh, my tool in our case say we'll go with the milling tool so I simply enter 100 input and that shows that it took uh, tool number 100 I accept it and there you go that's our new tool you can simply um, hit the extend key and you can enter all the data about the tool say in our case we just want to enter the length of the tool which is if, for example 40 so I enter it and there you go that's that's how you enter all the data of the tool and once you're finished with it you can select the activate change and that that change will be effective if you go back in our tool database it shows the tool number 100 has a length 40 that's what we enter and that's how you enter the all the tool offsets <coughs> similarly you can enter the radius also you can enter radius from right from here say 10 and then activate change and there you go that's your work offset. Another way of doing it is uh, measuring tool directly. For that, we'll go back to the machine operating area, and it will take me to this screen. Here, uh, I go to major tool, and out of the option manual or auto, I select whichever I want. In auto you have to have a probe which uh, will de determine the length of the, uh, the length of the tool if I go to the manual mode here I have to select what kind of tool it is, it is and accordingly I have to jog my axis say in our case say Z axis so I jog Z axis and you can see it's changing once it scratches the workpiece, I stop and then set as a length and you can see it took the value from Z axis right here and that's the length of the tool and that's how we know what's the length and the, the radius of the tool if I go back and then I can start using that tool in our program that's how you set the tool offset. Thank you for watching the video.